Today is the 16th of September. It's, what time is it? 7.51. It's about 72 degrees outside. Only supposed to get up to like 99 today, but it is so smoky. It is really smoky. I'm trying to show the smoky sun through the trees. It's nasty. I got a flower. Even though those leaves don't look good, I gotta look that up. I, I have a, something that shows me what leaves, when leaves do that, what that, what's causing it. I don't know if so. I didn't get the sky pencils moved yet. Um, maybe I'll get that done shortly. Partly it's been because we haven't moved <laughs> everything out of our truck yet either. So I need some soil building and stuff like that. Oh, I planted a mum back in here and tried to clean up oh there's a little bird clean up the pot that had bird poop all over it that mums look at how brave you are you little bird it's cute probably protecting something anyway it's beautiful outside other than smoky, which makes it hard to breathe. I'm gonna collect some more basil seed. I've been doing that. This one looks like it's gonna be about ready for me to start messing with. That one's really nice for the bees. I don't know if there's any bees in it. Hmm. I'm surprised there's not bees swarming there. This little sickly thing I think I'm going to take out of here. It, it just hasn't done well in this concrete pot. I don't know if it's because it gets too hot or what. Maybe the plastic does better. There's my little birdie. I don't like birds. Um, let's see. I haven't uh, gotten the dead out of those cannas yet. My okra I'm letting go to seed. This is looking... Some of it looks green, like the new stuff's real green, so I don't think it's sick. I think it got, what is that? I can't remember what that's called. Chelated iron is what you put on it, but I can't remember what it's, the thing that causes it. So, my sunflower is looking kind of scraggly. This I want to clean up. In fact, we're probably going to move these things off of the sidewalk here, except for the big pots and stuff. Um, let's see. Come over here, I guess. My Cinderella pumpkin is taken off. There's a tomato plant up there, but it's not gonna 
do well and it's just because it gets too much shade um, those squash look healthy and good except that there's no fruiting and those are those Ford hooks so I don't I was watching a channel that said the Ford hooks for what they thought produced the best but maybe not here I don't know I removed all the beans from the trellises so that's been done and we kind of propped up our and I removed that squash that was here and we had squash bugs in these rocks like crazy um, so we've been like spraying it with water and stuff and then when they come up we hit them trying to get rid of them oh here's my armenium cucumbers they're really doing well and then I have a little Kajari melon that's almost ready to pick back there. I should probably pick it. And lots of blooms for more melons. And you can see the glow on the fence. It's kind of an orange glow. It's because of the it's because of the smoke. So bad. This is my black eyed Susan vine. I think they come not only in vines, but in other things. And I had one flower on it that I've seen, but I mean, part of it is it's ragged because of the summer. So hopefully, although that looks like chlorosis, that's what that's called. So I might have some of that, I don't know. Our soil is high in pH, which could be causing that. My artichokes took off, man. They're really full. And I got a couple of cucumbers from that cucumber plant this past week. Didn't cut down this rue yet, but I feel good that I got a few things cleared out of the garden. And then this is what's amazing to me, this cypress vine. It is, it's Christmassy, it's crazy. What's another C word? Cute. It's going like crazy. I love it. I love it. I know it looks messy, but I don't even mind that. And it kind of grabbed hold of my tomato plant. You can see my tomato plants kind of wound up in this. And they seem to like each other, so that's cool. I'm trying to keep it from going over into the neighbor's yard, but it's hard because it's like out of control a lot of times. Um, we propped up I think all of our peppers, we're trying to get them um, get them ready to start producing lots of fruit. This one's not propped up, I guess. So I need to come out. But I've got some serranos. Lots of serranos, actually. I don't care if serranos go red on me. I like those green. I think they have a different flavor when they're red. That's got lots of peppers on it. We try to let everything go to red. Although this one, this particular pepper plant, I think is only the yellow. Um, and we were noticing that something's eaten on it. So I've really been watching the plant, trying to find the worm or grasshopper, which I will say, when I took down the beans, I found a big, huge grasshopper and I found a small grasshopper. So if it's grasshoppers that's eaten, maybe I've gotten the ones that were eating, but it looks more like worm damage. So I'm still coming out here and 
gazing at my peppers, trying to figure out if there's something eaten on them that I just can't see. Oh, these peppers don't look good. I don't know what's wrong with those leaves. That's a sweet pepper, a bell pepper. And then this is a jalapeno. And it's got some, but they're really small. So, and I think that's because this okra probably needs to come out, but I'm trying to collect seeds from the okra. So, although I'm gonna have tons, but when I talked about taking it out, my husband thought maybe it was kind of protecting this little guy too, so. And he could be right. So I left it because he could be right. My eggplant, I think, is about done. I'm not really, there is a fruit on it, but I, and it's probably beyond the state of using it, but that happens. My basil. Don't see as many bees here either this morning. What I'm hoping is that this little dude produces cherry tomatoes. Please, 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 please. And this is a cherry tomato. It's actually two tomato plants I see now. So I might take one out of there and put it over there because I got rid of that um, squash plant. So I might put it in there. Because I got a little room and I have a few noodle beans still, but not enough. I'm just letting them go to seed now. Although, I might have enough for eating. Nah, I don't have enough for eating unless I've got some over there I don't know about. I wanna get that little thing where it's got that material on it and it's got the salvia in there. I want to set that up with some red pots that I have that are really cute. They're a little bit smaller than those. It'll hold like six of them. So I have like that tile there because I'm going to cut the tile and then put the pots on the tile. And I want to do that as a fall thing. I want some fall colors in there. But I haven't even planted any seeds in the house, which I need to do. Oh, those are hard. Those are hard. Give me some seeds. Those peppers look really healthy, I think. Pretty good looking. And I'm probably going to pull out, I pulled out part of the squash plant, but not all of it because I have a couple of fruit. I've got one here, one there, or, yeah, one there, and one there. So three, three fruit. The, squash plant itself I'm sure is being taken over by squash bugs so it doesn't look real healthy but I'm hesitant to pull it just yet I don't know if this is ready I don't think it is so that's my dilemma here's a Mexican sunflower that I will not let those go in this bed ever again. Oh, look at the cypress vines got it. How funny. Looks like I have a few more tomatoes I can grab. But yes, I love this plant don't know why but I do I guess it's because it's a green that we don't often see in our yard it's 
delicate looking and yet it's ferocious. So, it's kind of a fun plant. I will grow more of them. And let's see. Never did anything in this pot. The, the spring got away from us. Oh, there's some bees. So there's some bees on the melons. The um, spring got away from us. The summer got too hot. I know I saw people planting during the heat and everything else. And I know I could have done that. I just was weary from the heat here this year. I think it was one of the hottest years we've ever had and it's because it just wouldn't cool off at night so and I don't know if I even showed how this these pepper plants are doing this one's got a ton of flowers on it um, that's chlorosis, I betcha. And that is the, that's a cow pea. That's all right, but that's definitely chlorosis. I don't know what these things are that are on the grout. I found some other ones like that, and I've picked them off, but they could be a beneficials for all I know. This trying to take over my tomato plant. Go away. I'm going to come and pin that up today. That's a good size pepper. So is that one. There's some good sized peppers in here. Yay! I wanted a bunch of peppers. Yeah, this is the one where I've been watching this plant just trying to find what's eating it. Don't know. It's a game, and I'm losing. That's my garden diary. Today is Monday the 13th, and this is what I got out of the garden. Um, the butternut squash I had to cut off the damaged part and that's all that was left. I have some um, little yellow plum tomatoes and two cucumbers and it's about 10 a.m. and 70 degrees so we're starting to get a cooling effect which is nice. Um, we had a hot weekend but I think now that all the temperatures are supposed to um, decrease.